Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to be performing a manual install of Nagios XI. So first, some requirements. You'll need a running CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux box. We support versions 6 and 7, so be sure you install either CentOS 6 or 7 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 or 7. And be sure that the installation is a minimal installation. That's very important that it is a minimal install. After you have your minimal install up and running, be sure to log in as the root user and be sure you have an IP address associated with your machine and be sure that you have internet access. After that, we can get started. So now we're booting into the CentOS Linux kernel that we've just installed. And we're going to have to install a couple of different packages after this machine boots. There are actually uh, two packages in particular that we care about installing. Those packages are wgit, just so we can actually download Nagios XI, and firewall D. As of CentOS 7 and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.2, uh, firewall D is not installed by default, so we do have to actually install it manually. So I'll log in with root and the password of welcome, and the command that we want to run is yum install firewall D wgit y. And this will go ahead and download firewall D and download wgit and install both of those packages on our system. And then we'll just do a little bit of um, little bit of magic to get Nagios XI onto this machine. And that's all there is to it. There are only uh, probably five commands left. So what we're doing is we're waiting for firewall D and wgit to install. This shouldn't take uh, this shouldn't take too long. It's checking the repositories, determining where to download it from, and now it's beginning the download. There's the download, there's the install process, now it verifies, and we are good to go. So, at this point, we're in the slash root directory, so we'll navigate using cd to slash temp, and just make sure we're there. All right, so we are in slash temp. And what we'll do now is we'll use an application called wgit, which is an application that we installed earlier. It stands for webgit, and we're going to webgit the following URL. So we will webgit, type in webgit space http, colon forward slash forward slash assets dot nagios dot com slash downloads slash nagios xi slash xi hyphen latest dot tar dot gz. What this is going to do is it'll reach out to the internet and download the latest release of nagios xi for us. So here we go and it's quite a quick download. Shouldn't take uh, shouldn't take too long on a reasonable internet connection. After this download is complete, the latest Nagios XI tarball is placed inside of your temp directory. So we can run an ls to verify that it is in fact there. Because it's in a compressed format, we have to use tar zxf xi latest.tar.gz. And all these commands will be, um, will be in the description of the video as well. So you don't have to uh, copy what's on my screen. You can just copy and paste them from the description. So we run this command. It should complete with no output, and we can run ls, and we see that there's a new directory called Nagios XI right there. So we'll cd into Nagios XI, check our present directory, which is slash temp slash Nagios XI. Now I'll clear my screen. If we run an ls, we'll see a bunch of files in here. The one that we're actually concerned about running is called full install. It's right here, and this is the entire install script for Nagios XI. So let's run it, dot slash full install. And it's like, uh, this should only be run on a clean install of CentOS or Red Hat. Don't use this on a system that's been tasked with other purposes. Very important, uh, very important message to read. We'll hit yes because this is a clean, minimal install of CentOS 7. Enter, and there you have it. The full install script will uh, will run through all of its steps, and then we'll be presented with a working Nagios XI web interface. We'll pause the video now because this install process does take a little bit of time, but just before we pause, I do want to show you one thing. If we go to our web browser and go to Google, we can Google Nagios XI manual install. Hit enter and check it out. So we have a PDF document that actually details this entire process, just in case you need to uh, take a look at the document or save it for you know internal purposes. It's very useful just uh, to read through this document. But I figured you might want to see it on video as well, hence, uh, hence why we're making this. So I'll minimize that, and we'll go ahead and pause now while Nagios XI is installed on this box. Okay, great. And that concludes the install process. After the installation is complete, you'll see that the Nagios XI installation was complete. You'll see this little dialog, and it'll say, you can access the Nagios XI web interface by visiting http colon slash slash your IP address slash Nagios XI. 
So 3.253, let's just remember that and type it in here. 3.253 slash Nagios XI. We should be presented with a prompt that will finalize our installation. So we have the program URL, we can leave that alone, leave the administration name alone. This email address I'm going to leave alone, you can change it if you'd like. We'll make the password something simple, like welcome. And we can change our time zone here as well. I will change this to, and let's go up a bit, change this to central time, should be up here somewhere, US and Canada. Hit the install button just to finalize the installation of Nagios XI. Once this installation is finalized, we're presented with a login prompt and again, a reminder of our username and password that was selected. Hit login. Let's type Nagios admin, welcome, enter. Then you will have to read through our software agreement and press the I agree button and hit submit. And that's it. We're uh, presented with a tour to get you familiar with Nagios XI. And then we can end the tour at our leisure and continue with the other training videos to get uh, to get some hosts and services set up and get some monitoring going. And that's how you manually install Nagios XI. If you have any questions about the process, please contact us at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, check out the related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.